Hey, what's up guys? It's me again, back with another action figure review. And today I will be having a look at the Star Wars Black Series Ned B from Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think this is my first Black Series figure in the plasticless packaging. So you have a nice photo of the figure on the front, another photo on the side, different photo on the other side, Ned B again on the back, along with a little read up if you'd like to read it. Top, bottom, then the front again. I'll take a second and get Ned B out of this box so we can have a closer look at him. So there's Ned B out of packaging, and he only comes with two accessories, but they are two pretty nice accessories. You get Ned's blaster. It is all one collar, but it is a nice gun metal. Some nice details on it too. And his hammer. Again, a lot of nice detail in the hammer. Decent paint work. Pretty cool accessory. And there's Ned compared to a couple other figures. On the left, we have that Death Trooper. On the right, we have another droid that I forget the name of. It was from The Mandalorian. And you can see Ned B's a pretty good sized droid, because here's your standard size Black Series figure. Ned's a little taller. That is all for his accessories and comparisons. Now we'll have a closer look at Ned. There's Ned's head sculpt. They did a lot of good weathering on him. Lots of dry brushing throughout the figure. Looks really good. This was also separate on him out of the box. I didn't really count it as an accessory since it's really just part of the figure. Again, some good weathering on that ass plate. Cut his blue arm here. Again, it's got lots of weathering on it as well. Mine has super loose knee joints. I mean, he'll even bend forward. That is very unnatural looking. But on Ned's articulation, he has a weird head. I mean, it's kind of small and a giant neck, but he will look up. Not really at all. He'll look down a little bit. Not really much tilt or anything, but it will go all the way around, no problem. Check out that Robot Adam's apple. Arms will go around, no problem. They'll fold up about that high. He has those clear elbow and knee joints. I don't know why they do it. It's a little bit weird. But you can get about 90 at the elbow, and it will rotate there on both sides as well. And then your hand is pegged in and on a disc. Your midsection, you can crunch a little bit, but don't really want to stay. I don't know why. It will swivel. Legs kick forward pretty good. Back pretty decent. Get about 90 at the knee. You can get a little bit going forward too, again, pretty weird. Feet will go back that far, forward that far, and you do get some good pivot on there. So not bad articulation for this droid. I mean, really, you just need it to stand up. It's a droid. But I'm going to take a second and pose Ned B up so we can wrap this review up. Short and sweet, this one was. Ned has these big fat sausage fingers, and this gun just does not look natural in his hand. It looks weird. It looks like he's trying to crush it, not shoot it. All right, there's Ned B, very generically posed up. But he is looking off in the distance in deep thought. That's one thing about Ned B. He's a deep thinker. But I found this figure at Target. Again, he was one of the more expensive figures, around $30, which I think is bullcrap. But whatever, it is what it is. I just love these Black Series droids. I don't know why. I don't even know the names of half of them after I had them for like a week. I just think they do a really good job on the droids. And this one's no exception. I really dig it. But that is all I have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick unboxing and review. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye for now. Say I have sausage fingers one more time and you get the hammer. Sorry, dude, I didn't mean it.